Okay, my print just got done as you can see. My bed is still very hot, it's at 60 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to show you an easy way to remove your parts without taking the supplied scraper and banging on your, your uh, project and trying to get them off the bed. Even once the bed you believe to be cool and it's warm to the touch and people are trying to remove their parts to inspect them and they're still stuck. Um, a few days ago, I got my printer last week, and uh, the day after, I, you know, I printed a few items, and I printed a large Spider-Man bust, and I thought the bed was cool enough to try to remove the item, and I was scraping at it. The Spider-Man bust would not come loose. I grabbed his head, and as I was scraping, I cracked the base of the Spider-Man. I was able to glue it and save it, but since then, I've learned a very easy way of removing your items and I'll show you that now. I'm going to take the little clips off the glass bed. I'll take the glass bed into the kitchen, set it on a wooden counter. Once it's completely cool, I will show you just how easy it is to remove your items. So let me pause the camera here real quick. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now. Let me go in here to the kitchen. We've got the glass on the countertop. It feels completely cold. And here's how easy the parts will now remove. They do not stick whatsoever. So if you wait till your glass is completely cold, whether you leave it on the printer or take it off, once it's completely cooled all the way down, you will not have to scrape them and fight with the parts to get them off. And they come out looking wonderful. I just love this printer. It's awesome. And I use a glue stick on the stock glass that came with it. And I have no problems whatsoever. So I'll just take this over to the sink. Oops, don't want to break it. And I'll simply rinse it off with water. Get all that glue off. And I'll dry it with a paper towel, put it back on the 3D printer, and if I'm going to be printing anything else soon, I'll go ahead and take a glue stick and go over it. Once I take a glue stick over the area where I'm going to be printing, I'll take the scraper and I lightly scrape over the glue just to make sure there's no lumps of glue anywhere. I lightly scrape over it, and then I'm good to go. And it works wonderful like that. So I just thought I'd pass this on to everybody because it took me three or four days uh, uh, you know, I had a few difficulties with prints the day that I got the printer, the next day and the day after that, until I realized that once I let it cool all the way down, they just come right off like butter. It's, uh, you know, a wonderful thing. I love it. And I'll pass on any little tidbits I get here and there, but like I say, the bottom line is if you're fighting with your printer, trying to get off your prints, there's no reason to do that. Simply let the glass cool down all the way and they, they come off very easy. You don't have to force it, bang on them, scrape at them. It's a great thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, you guys have a great day. Bye.